Parents, look at this video. A dad waiting to get his child off the bus when you can see this 18-wheeler just go right past it at a very high rate of speed, and students were getting off this bus at the time. This happened in Cabarrus County on Highway 29. Our Elsa Gillis took that video to the district and is live tonight at that same bus stop. Elsa? Yeah, Scott, we came out here ourselves to take a look at this bus stop and what that father captured on video is exactly what we saw with our eyes here this afternoon. Jarrett Marlin usually doesn't get to pick up his second grader from the school bus in the afternoon. So yesterday when he was able to, he had his phone ready to get his son's reaction. I was just going to Snapchat his reaction of me being here and caught the 18 wheeler going past the bus. In this video, you see his school bus starts to slow down on the busy roadway. It comes to a complete stop. The doors open to let kids out, then bam, an 18 wheeler blows past it. He never tried to stop, slow down, or anything. The problem is, Marlon says this happens all the time. And when we were here today, our cameras captured one, two, three cars zoom past the stop school bus as the bus driver blew her horn. If they have a kid, they wouldn't want somebody else blowing past their bus, you know, their kid's bus. Marlin says the location of a bus stop on Highway 29 directly across from the Charlotte Motor Speedway on a busy multi lane roadway is just not safe. Yeah, it, it's, it's pretty concerning. I, I like to say, I mean, I don't want a car to go by on the right hand side. You know, hopefully they won't and hit a kid or hit the bus itself while they are getting off. So. Now, Marlin says he has asked the district to put the stop on this quieter road behind me. He also reached out to police. Now, I sent the district, Cabarrus County Schools, that video today asking why the stop is on such a busy road. They told me they strive to provide the safest stops for students and their transportation department will continue to review and evaluate this location and all others to maximize safety and efficiency. I also reached out to Concord Police, shared the video with them and asked them what they're doing to crack down on this kind of crime. Reporting live in Concord, Elsa Gillis, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. People really need to pay attention, Elsa. Thank you. Uh, drivers often just ignore those stop arms as we can see. Now back in October, North Carolina troopers cracked down on those people during Operation Stop Arm. They spent a week riding on school buses and using unmarked cars to monitor bus routes.